Hello, Andrew here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my post match of Liverpool versus Bournemouth in the Premier League. Wow, people will go, normal service resumed, Liverpool winning. It was anything but normal service resumed. Uh, let's get into how it all started. I mean, we look good, start off with, you know, possession football, looking to try and break down. And then a ball played over, I mean, Gomez does get pushed, right? VAR doesn't deem it as a push. Peter Walton, who was um, the manager, the manager, the referee, in you know, in the studio, um, deemed it as a push. I mean, how this is not given as a push, I don't know. But what you've got to play to the whistle, right? So the push happens. Wilson's got the ball, people get back into position, but then they're static. They're thinking that a foul is going to be given, and Bournemouth play some good football and score a very, very good goal, uh, you know, with a, with some good movement. We didn't play to the whistle. Yeah, it's a push. Yeah, it's the goal shouldn't stand, but you play to the whistle. Um, and now uh, Liverpool haven't, you know, they're not, the Liverpool that we've seen... Well, actually, to be honest, we've won games quite a lot this season without playing well. We've had a lot of luck along the way. There's quite a few games you can go through that we have had a lot of luck along the way. Luck can only last so long. It ran out against Watford. It, I, it, we were completely... You know, it was completely awful and outdone by Watford. Bournemouth had their chances today. Adrian does not look comfortable in that goal. Some of the punching and some of the saves that should have been caught and stuff like that. And he's got to play for us. Um, yeah, I made a mistake in my first video. It's not calf injury. It's a hip injury for Allison, And we don't know how long he's going to be out for. But that's not good. Um, yeah, Adrian's done some good work for us. But he looks a little bit... Uh, shaky at the moment oh, and as I say he's going to be playing against Atletico Madrid on Wednesday um, and Liverpool need to fucking buck up their ideas we allow Bournemouth um, you know to play sometimes um, we get the equaliser I mean again it come from a Bournemouth mistake so um, Jack Simpson who comes on for the injured cook um, he um Takes a heavy touch. Mane's onto it. The ball to Salah is absolute is poor for Mane, but Salah works it well. Plays the shot through Lerman's um, legs and gets the equaliser. Um, then um, again, um, to credit to Bournemouth, they tried to play football, and that's where the second goal come. They they were quite high up the pitch. They're trying to play through. Um, it gets cut out by Van Dijk. Van Dijk plays a lovely ball to Mane. Mane's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and you never expect him to miss. Finesse bottom corner. 2-1 um, Liverpool. I mean, I'm happy with my prediction that 2-1. I said that's what it would be. But it could have been so It could have been so different. I mean, there was a chance for Bournemouth in the 60th minute that, um, again, some poor, sloppy play... Um, some good football from Bournemouth, a great ball to Fraser. Um, Adrian, I don't know what he's doing, coming, he comes charging out. The ball gets chipped over him and 34 years of age, James Milner clears it off the line. I mean, he never stops running. He never stops. He, he, he is an absolute legend. He really is. Um, Arnold was poor today. He's... he's set pieces he um he's um trying to play the ball into the ball it, it was awful i mean Firmino lack seems to be lacking confidence at the moment um he hasn't scored at anfield all season um it a lot of players seem like a lot of nerves are kicking in at the moment especially when they've lost three out of the last four games nerves are starting to kick in i think they're trying not to, but with all the papers and all the media and all this lot, Liverpool are going to win the league, Liverpool are the best team in the world, Liverpool are this, Liverpool are that. It's all starting to sink in and complacency is sinking in. And that's 
excuse me, that's what we need to get out of. We need to get out of this mind state, get back into the mind state that we had, and start winning football matches. We only need three more from nine games now. Unless City slip up anymore, we only need three from nine games um, to win the league. But but the thing is, we're still we're on, we're still fighting on the Champions League front. But we've got a tough game against Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid on Wednesday are going to sit and try and hit us on the counter. They're going to say, "Come on, break us down." It and hopefully Robertson's back. Hopefully it was just a precaution that he was left out today. But Milner, um, just outstanding. If Henderson isn't available, Milner has to play. It's as simple as that. Even, even in midfield, even if Robertson's available, Milner has to play in that midfield. He works tirelessly. It is unreal. He's 34 years of age and you'd think he's one of the youngest players in the squad. It's it's incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the 2-1. I mean, Mane had an, an effort quite late on like, um, a, like that hit the woodwork. Uh, would have been a lovely goal. But Bournemouth deserve a lot of credit. They tried to play football. They had their chances. And they got one right, right at the end. I mean, I know it got flagged for offside. Um, but Ake, you know, for Ake, most probably would have been given as offside. But Ake, um, Callum Wilson gets the ball caught under his feet. And if it's all onside and he scores that, that's 2-2. Two, two. Um, Bournemouth played some really well today it was only two mistakes again and that's what Liverpool have lived on the last couple of games um, again two mistakes and we've scored our goals against West Ham and against Bournemouth Watford made no mistakes and you saw the difference they won 3-0 Watford were outstanding um, Bournemouth were at a really good level today they just made mistakes. West Ham were at a brilliant level. They just made mistakes. Liverpool need to not rely on opposition making mistakes and start taking the football to the te two teams again and start showing, we're not going to rely on your mistakes. We can beat you without them. Anyway, I'm just rabbiting on. Next game is Atletico Madrid. It's a big, massive one. Um, I mean, we're 25 points clear of City until they play Man United tomorrow, but they do have a game in hand on top of that. But we it's all about us. We're in the driving seat. We need three wins from nine. So, yeah. Anyway, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.